What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31, the place you go with a sneezing puppy in a squeaky chair. You know how it is. Well, a little peep. Life is beautiful. This song just sounded like a positive one, so I thought I'd rock it with y'all. You see the banner at the bottom of the screen. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Help your boy out. We're trying to hit 20,000, baby. Anyways, look. I'm in one of them kind of moods right now. I might wild out and say something crazy. I might not. We don't know yet. But I hope you're having a good day. Either way, I hope you're... Uh, dude, it's officially March 1st. On the 10th, your boy turns 40 years old. We're doing a live stream. Drop by and throw some money in that tip jar so I can afford to pay for my medical bills that are inevitably going to happen this year. No, I'm just playing. But still, you want to drop by and tip me for some reactions? Cool. If not, just come hang out say hello. Happy have birthday to your boy, man. I'm getting old, bro. All right, little peep. What you got for me, dude? <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to have to put something over this. It's all right. Yo, is that Peep Sands all the face tattoos? Whoa. Wild, bro. That looks so strange. I know that it hurts sometimes, but it's beautiful. Working every day, now you're bleeding through your cuticles. Passing through a portal as you're sitting in your cubicle. Wow, that just right there, the first three bars might be the best I've heard of him in a long time. That's awesome. Those are really, I like those lyrics a lot. Huh, I can't believe I've never heard this before. Is it life beautiful? I think that life is beautiful. Trying to keep it I can't remember. Cool. I don't think so, though. Father's funeral. Finding out eventually the feeling wasn't mutual. I know I've never seen this video before. The song's got me, though. You got me. This is it. This is one right here. What in the world? Yeah, I see you, Gus. I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. I see you. All right. You were not invited because you're nothing like the usual. Isn't life beautiful? I think that life is beautiful. You want to see your friends, but you're stuck inside a hospital. Dr. Wilson, and he tells you that it's terminal. Tumor in your brain, and the saying it's inoperable. Isn't life beautiful? I think that life is beautiful. Yo, is he reading the lyrics off a screen right now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I've done the same thing, bro. I ain't hating. I'm just making an observation, if that's what he's doing. So my wife had a tumor. I think it's when she was young, so I don't I don't know all the details. I've heard the story once or twice, but I think it's it was right above her nose, behind her skull, and they had to go in there and like break her skull open and like get it out. She's really lucky to be alive. That's how I know she was sent down here to take care of me and protect your boy here. Anybody that can make it through that, you handle this. You know what I'm saying, Chris? If I, if, if you ever see this baby, I love you so much. 10 years down the rest of my life to go never mind i love america we're not perfect man we got a lot of problems but Especially today, if you look out the rest of the world, man, we're doing all right. Far from where I want us to be, but, whew, buddy, the world's in a weird place right now, you know? Puppy dog sleeping by the door. I going to start farting in a minute and clear me out of here. Ugh, nasty dog. Yeah. Huh. That's the story of my life until I met Carissa. I don't know what she's putting up with me for, man. <laughs> my wife is brilliant, dude. <laughs> Peep, I love you, my man. Let's go. All right. Sorry. You think she's adorable. She thinks that you're tolerable. You think you can do it, but your chances are improbable. Mm. Once you feel unstoppable, you run into an obstacle. 
Isn't life comical? I think that life is comical. And if you ever need a friend, then you got me. Let's just uh let's just rewind that part one one more time. And if you ever need a friend, then you got me. And in the end, when I die, would you watch oh. me? You, got a, you need a friend, you got me, all right? Y'all know that. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on email if you need to, but you can talk to your boy here. I'll help you in any way that I can. All you 15-year-olds out there, by all means, reach out. But, man, I, you have got to talk to your folks first, man. I, there's certain stuff I can't even talk with you about being that age, man. So uh, while I want to, go talk to your parents, man. If they're, if they're available, if they're around, if they're doing what they're supposed to do, if you got deadbeat dad around, Hit me up, man. I'll just, it is what it is, man. I, I, Y'all, sometimes you just need somebody to talk to, but like, I'm just trying to do right by everybody, man. It sucks that I want to help people. And I'm, I'm so worried about getting like legitimately sued by somebody that it's like, oh, just to be able to tell you like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do drugs. Like I'm worried about even doing that because some of these nonsensical people are going to try to sue your boy here because their kid made a dumb decision because I listened to them and they didn't like, it's crazy, bro. So I'm trying my best, everybody. All right. I promise you my best, not, not, not halfway there, bro. My best to take care of you people. I love y'all. Ooh, I love having my hood on with my hat on. Oh, but these giant headphones make me look ridiculous. Never mind. And if I try suicide, would you stop yeah, me? I would have tried. Would you help me get a grip or would you try? Nope, I got you, bro. Run away, make friends with the moon. Why you chipping your be with your friends soon? It comes a time everybody meets the same thing. Huh. I think I'm gonna die alone and sign my room. Huh. Man, that's very prophetic. That was like very prophetic, man. He's I mean basically is his tour bus is his room. Y'all hear the dog snoring? Bruh. You out of line, Pedro. Anybody want some flaming hot cool ranch Doritos? I do. Ha! Gotta wait till the video's over this time, though. Oh, Pedro woke up. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'll give you one minute. This long ass outro I could do without, but this song is awesome. Hey, buddy. I love you, too. You want to say hi? You want to see something beautiful? Come here, baby. Come here, baby boy. That's beautiful. That's my puppy dog. Pedro the puppy. What's up, buddy? If y'all can see his tail just a going, I love you too, my man. That's my big old beefy Latifi. That's the beefiest Latifiest puppy ever. He's so big and chunky and smushy faced. So everybody say, I'm a beautiful 85 pounds and one foot tall. I love you, big guy. Yeah, you dance with me, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's my boy. He's the scruffiest puppy. Man, that song was hard. I know, I know. You want to get petted. You just want to be petted. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. I'm still working, buddy. I'm still doing my job, my J-O-B. Oh, you want to come on my lap, huh? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, you're just the biggest puppy. He thinks he's a lap puppy. He thinks he's a lap puppy. Oh, you just want the chips, don't you? You just want the ch all the chips. Oh, my goodness. You're trying to prove to me how well you behave? This is not proof. You're in my lap. I need to do work. I love you so much. You're so smelly. Actually, you smell wonderful. You got a bath yesterday. Yes, you did. Brick and mommy gave you a bath, didn't I? All right, let me finish my thing and I'll give you a chip, okay? We're best pals. I'll give you a chip, dude. Anyway, sorry. You know, I was thinking that I almost said, like, I'm sorry. I know you're here for the music, but if you're not here for me, 
I mean, and the music, of course. But like, if you're not here for me and my personality, then you're probably in the wrong channel, bro. Is that wild? That's nice to go off on these three minute dog pet sessions and stuff like that. <laughs> what you doing, man? Quit knocking my chair around, bro. Chacho. He's like, I will not. Anyways, those lyrics on that song I thought were fantastic. Uh, the the instrumental was it was all right. It was pretty generic, but I liked it. It fit with the song. His vocals I thought were really good. They were really I could really understand what he was saying in that song. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a, an eight eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um, man, that was a good little peep song. Man, most of his songs are good, but that was a great one. I really liked that. Um, playlist it though. <sighs> Because it had a long outro, man. Let me see what's on here real quick. I don't know if I can playlist this one. It has a really, really long outro. Um, I don't like that. You know what I could do? You know what I could do? Yeah, we're going to playlist that jam. Kick out the jams. Yeah, we're going to playlist that jank. Life is butamous almost as beautiful as my wife but not quite that was my mic drop it was with the pen though i don't have a microphone that I can drop my microphone's on my desk on a tripod if i drop it it'll just be really loud and y'all won't be a very appreciative so uh, yeah see this is what i'm talking about uh i forgot who told me that but look haha <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Subscribe if you like the content. I work really hard for it. Hey, thank you very much. All right, everybody. Anyhow, uh, I know y'all love me out here, man. All right, I'm going to do... Um, a, I got a video for The Do, and I got one for... There's a new little punk group called The Linda Lindas. It's like this all-girl group, and they're just adorable and amazing. And then I got uh, Backtrack, this New York hardcore band I'm doing, and then a little Dirt coming up next. So a bunch of eclectic, uh, an eclectic mix of songs. Uh, I hope you guys love it and appreciate my hard work to bring you the jams. Kick out the jam. Ooh, that's a good song. Ooh, hold up. Kick out the jams is coming up soon. Kick out. Jams. Kick out the jams. Kick out the jams. Kick out the jams. Kick out the fucking jams. 